All right, welcome back. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are gonna be unboxing a Cisco RoomKit Pro. We're gonna be replacing our existing Cisco SX80 system. We're just gonna be upgrading it, and this is a Tech Talk. All right, we're back, and I've got Marshall Hill here with me. I'm excited Thanks. to be here. Yeah, this is going to be good. We are uh, taking our existing conference room that we uh, heavily use for all of our uh, executive meetings, and we're going to be outfitting it with the new RoomKit Pro. Nice. All right. So the first step is we got to unbox this thing, right? Let's do it. All right. Let's uh, let's let's get going here. All right, so we got everything unboxed and we are ready to go through the components. So what do we have here, Marshall? So we actually have a pretty slick, all-inclusive unit. This is, comes as a kit. It's called the RoomKit Pro, as we had mentioned. Comes with a enterprise codec, okay. a camera system, which includes speakers built into the camera system, and of course, the universal Touch 10, which is used for the control mechanism like a remote control for the entire system. Um, I think what else is nice to point out, since we will be upgrading, is the fact that um, they did also come out with some new um, microphones. Are you going to hold that for you, buddy? So they came out with some new microphones, and uh, these guys are now round. Nice. Um, you can still inset them into the table, and the cable can also come in so that they can be inset into a table. The previous generation, which we have, uh, still looks pretty good. Um, it's a squarish microphone unit. You can also inset this into the table, and um, uh, and it was silver. So essentially, we had old mic. Old mic is square. New mic is round and white. Silver and white. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So those are some of the obviously uh, things that the the. End person will notice at the conference room. Obviously, the codec is usually tucked away in a credenza, so you don't really get to see it, even though it's still uh, a really uh, nice-looking unit. All right, so let's uh, talk a little bit about the specs on this camera. So, what, what kind of camera do we have here? What kind of features are in this? For this, is definitely for a larger room. You have four cameras, each being 5K, and then the codec inside or the actual uh, uh, internals inside will switch between the active speaker and an active camera to get the best angle for who's speaking. So uh, pretty impressive for a larger room. You have this guy here, which is more of a full room wide angle. And then you have these telephoto cameras that are angled to actually match who's speaking left side of the table, right side or the far end, um, as well as it has uh, uh, zoom. And uh, because of the 5K, it can, crop the best picture and then send that back down to the TV at 4K. Awesome. All right, so we talked a little bit about the features of the camera, a little bit about the new mic, uh, square versus round, and now we're gonna install this thing. So what do we do? Mount up the camera and install the codec and we should be in business, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's actually as simple as that. Okay, awesome, let's get started. We're back and it's been a couple of days since we did our first unboxing of the Room Kit Pro. So Marshall, we did a lot of things in this room. Give me a rundown. Yeah, so we did some audio reinforcement by adding some ceiling speakers with uh, an amp. We tied that into the Kodak Pro um, as well as we mounted the um, quad camera to the front of the room and we set up a uh, rear camera, which we call the presenter track camera, so that if you had someone in the uh, front of the room that wants to um, you know, give a uh, presentation, 
um, the people in the far audience could actually see them and the presentation in one shot. And what's kind of interesting about that is it does do some tracking, which is kind of uh, kind of cool. Yeah, so um, we can show that, um, and we have a uh, a stage. So in software, we set up a stage, and then the camera, when it detects a person. Uh, will actually track that person through kind of like a facial recognition. Um, and so as the person's moving across the stage, the camera will actually track them in software and so that the people on the far end have a really great experience of, of seeing up and close um, that person. It's almost like you have a, a, a production person following the person on a camera, even though it's all through software. Awesome, and then uh, table mics. Uh, yeah, so we have some options. We have some of our conference rooms with uh, ceiling mics and some with table mics. Um, where we have a conference table that's not moving and it doesn't have to be like an open floor plan, uh, we tend to try to go with the table mics. It has uh, the convenience of a mute button so people that are around the table can hit mute. Um, and they work really well. And the newer mics, um, they we have them inset into the table. So drill the hole and place the mic in, uh, in the table. And roughly in, in our size of a room, we went with two table mics. You can definitely go up to eight table mics in the pro unit, which is really nice. Uh, but for our size of room, it was only two. And then for the overhead speakers, again, we have two additional um, ceiling speakers, but you know, depending on the size of the room, you can go eight, 16, you name it, if it's a very large room. Awesome, and, and then one of the things that uh, we ran into here was a little bit with an HDMI issue where we, our cables weren't, you know, we got some cheap cables essentially. Yeah, so so some of the tables were meant for HD rather than 4K, and that became an issue. Yeah. And so, um, you know, there's a lot of you know things out there about HDMI cables. You'll probably see um, 1.4B, um, and then the newer cables are 2.0 and above. And so we went with the uh, the 2.0 HDMI cables for its 4K content natively. Um, and yeah, instantly when we connected that to the Codec Pro, which is a 4K codec. Um, we could actually share content natively at 4K, and it, it's amazingly better. It's very crisp, especially when you're looking at you know content like an Excel spreadsheet or something, where um, that high definition really helps. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks for all the help in building this room system out. I think this one was a good success. All right, so in this video, essentially what we did is we unboxed the RoomKit Pro, we installed it, mounted the camera, we installed a presenter track camera, we also installed some amp an amplifier, and ceiling speakers for audio reinforcement. This has been a really exciting and fun project, which we, uh, we had fun doing it. Um, if you saw anything in this video that you said, hey, I'd love to know more about that, make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Tech Talk. Thanks for watching.